What's up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John City 4 and today I'm here to bring you guys my first impressions about the multiplayer game mode from Battlefield 1. If you guys haven't pre-ordered Battlefield 1 yet, I suggest do it man, because so far for me, it has been a very, very refreshing experience because I've played Call of Duty for the past 6 years, you know, since Black Ops 1. And I'm telling you, the way people play this game is quite different from Call of Duty because, you know, every single Call of Duty player out there, no matter who the fuck you are, I don't care how much you defend yourself, I know, I know most of these people camp for kill streaks, camp for the KDs, and camp for kills. That's all they care about. But something is missing, you know, from all these people from Call of Duty. They don't play the fucking objectives. And that's what I got tired of for the past six years. You know, nobody plays the fucking objectives. I end up carrying the fucking teams most of the time in public matches. So coming into Battlefield 1 now, on the first week, on the first day, I have teammates helping me out capture flags. I have teammates trying to heal me. I have freaking teammates behind me shooting the enemies across the map because, you know, they're trying to defend a certain point. And that's the thing. That's the biggest difference between Call of Duty and, you know, the Battlefield series. Battlefield players play the objectives. They defend the objectives. I know they're going to be camping, but they, at least they're near the objective. In Call of Duty, they're camping all the way in the back of the map or in some spot where the B flag's not even located and they're just gonna be camping there until they get the next kill streak. It's fucking stupid the way people play Call of Duty nowadays. So I'm glad I'm playing this game. It's a refreshing experience and I'm gonna keep on playing it, man, because so far it has been very fun. You got the old school weapons, you got the old school tanks, and and also, you can ride horses. Like, what the fuck? You can pull out a sword and fucking take out somebody from the freaking floor. Like, it's crazy, man. So, so far, I'm telling you, it has been very impressive with Battlefield 1. I like it, man. I love it. It's it's something that I wish Call of Duty would do. But, you know, instead, we got, like, flying fucks all over the goddamn map. You know, people with their fucking jetpacks and wall running and all that crap. Uh, you know, despite doing great in Black Ops 3, I still didn't like it, man. I, I wish it was back into the old square era of Black Ops 1. You know, in Call of Duty. So, um, Battlefield 1 does have a lot of positive things to say about the tanks, weapons, and all that stuff, the, the way it looks, and the maps are all right. You know, they're pretty much good. I gave them an uh, uh, eight, you know, pretty much eight plus or something because the maps are fun to play. And once you learn the maps, you're going to be easily like moving through the map with no problem. You can, it's going to be a smooth sailing from there on because. Uh, once you learn the maps, you should know like where the enemy is coming from, uh, certain passages that enemies do not know, and you can be able to like blindside them or ambush them with no problem. And that's what I like about these maps, man. It just it just it has multiple paths to go from a certain point to another point. Like it's it's fun to know to know that, and that's something that Call of Duty lacked for the past few years because all they have is like the the three same roads going from point A to point C, and it's always the same thing, man. Always the same maps. I already noticed the pattern. So, um, so yeah, it's a, it's a very refreshing experience. Uh, there's some few negative things about this game, though, and hopefully I don't get dislikes about this because it's just my opinion. I'm not saying this ruins the game. I'm just saying this is something that I dislike, but not that much because I'll still go through it because I want I like the challenge that this game brings me, though. So let me tell you guys the problem about this game, about Battlefield 1. I'm not sure if I'm going crazy, but every time I go into a kill streak, I feel like my weapon is getting weaker along the way. Like I take out the first enemy like with um, like one third of the magazine or, or half of the magazine and then I go down to the next enemy I take him down with half of the magazine and then I go down to the third enemy with my with my, with my next reload You know uh, out of my, my soul rifle or something It takes the whole mech to take him down like I don't know if that's weird or not But it has happened to me happened to me like several times and they would have the same weapon and I would have 100% health and they'll kill me faster like I'm not sure if that's true or not but like if you go into kill streaks you become weaker and your health I don't know it stays the same but um apparently they can one shot kill you every time you go into a kill streak I'm not sure if that's true or not but it has been for me like every time I go into a kill streak it's like like what the fuck you know how can I die super quick and how did my weapon become super weak at the same time it's pretty weird to me. So that's one thing that I really dislike about this game. Maybe I'm getting worse along the way every time I go into a kill streak, or maybe it's the game. I don't know, man. But it's this one's just it's just a toss up, guys. I'm not saying this this ruins the game for me. I'm just saying I've been noticing a lot and it kinda you know bugs me a tiny bit, but it's not a big a problem. Another little bit of a problem that, it, that this game has is the customization about the weapons. You know, I wish I can just grab a weapon and just customize it however I want. Like add an extended magazine or add a, you know, a, a grip attachment. 
no freaking gun over here has a grip attachment not a single one so, but i'm guessing you know because the it's it's the old school era none of the assault rifles or lmgs or any other gun out there had a grip you know a grip attachment i wish i can add my own attachments too like uh add, allow me to add like different kind of sights iron sights or, or upgraded iron sights or you know there, there is that option too though but uh it's not like uh, Battlefield 4 where they allow you to customize the gun however you want make it from short range to medium range to even long range like there's different ways you can customize weapons in Battlefield 4 but it's not included on Battlefield 1 so that's a little bit of a letdown but it's not that much I still enjoy the game I still in uh, I still enjoy the challenge the game brings me so it's it's still fun to play in so that's all I wanted to talk about to get today, guys. I just want to talk about my first impressions with the negatives and the positives. It does have tons of positives, and I recommend this game, guys. I recommend it after I played it for two hours straight on multiplayer. It's just amazing, and it looks amazing, too. The graphics are very impressive. So that is it, guys. If you guys want to see more Battlefield 1, please subscribe for more. If you guys got any questions about Battlefield 1, please leave it in the comment section, guys. I'll read it later. So I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more.